Now in the example number two, it says how you can find out any numeric value, how you can find out the multiplication of these things, like if you want to find 96 raised to the power 5. In this thing you have to do 96 into 96 into 96 5 times. Not a feasible thing. So, how can we do these things by binomial theorem? So, here is an example for 96 cube. How we can find out the value of 96 cube? As we can write this 96 equals to 100 minus 4. So, we can place 100 minus 4 at the place of 96 cube. So, it is 100 minus 4 cube. Now we can open it by binomial theorem. It is nc0 means 3 is the n here. So it is 3c0 into 100 raised to the power 3, 4 raised to the power 0. The next sign will be minus because of a minus b. So it is 3c1. 100 square, 4 raised to the power 1, the next will be plus sign, it is 3c2, 100 raised to the power 1 and 4 raised to the power 2, now it is minus 3c3, 100 is power 0 and 4 cubed. Now as 3c0 is always 1 into 100 cubed, into 1, 4 is power 0 is 1, then 3c1, 3c1, the value of 3c1 will be 3, into 100 square into 4 plus 3c2 as we have to find out 3c2 then open 3 2 times and open 2 2 times so it is 3 so it is 3 into 100 into 16 minus 3c3 and cn is always 1. So it is 1 into 1 into 4 cube. The 4 cube is 64. So now you can write n left minus One lakh twenty thousand plus minus sixty four. So it gives you this is the answer for ninety six cube. It is at length 84,736. So this is the value of 96 cube without doing any multiplications. So you can do this thing also for any power of 96.